Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be a kind of set up with me again. It's for a joint 50th birthday anniversary and it's colours that I've never actually done before. So um, I'm going to take you down firstly to my little studio where I'm going to blow up all the balloons, cluster them all together and then I have got to empty the van because the van currently has Freddie's cot in there <laughs> but he just donate so... I'll empty that and get the van loaded and then we'll go to the venue. Do you know what I just can't cope with? Not being bloody organised is what I can't cope with. Oh, I'm usually so organised but I've had so many orders come through um, and that means a lot of balloons everywhere. So I am literally just going, trying to find the right box for the right balloons <laughs> um, but of course with Boris's announcement I'm sorry the camera I'm going to back but with Boris's new announcement that obviously means that the events that were, bu were booked post Monday have all had to either postpone or cancel which is just so rubbish and you know, it's just awful. It is awful, isn't it, this situation? I, I didn't. I knew there would be a second wave of it, and I knew that it was going to go on a long time, but I didn't anticipate for it at the same time. Um, so it is rubbish, but what can we do? We need to remain positive, even though it's a bit hard. So, but that means as well, though bringing a good bit to it is that I have been able to squeeze in as many um, events as I possibly could this weekend which you know go out with a bang but I will still be taking bookings for um, parties of six because parties of six are still parties at the end of the day so I'll definitely still be taking bookings for that um, so today's colours are white gold and black so I'm going to make the main focus black and I'm not going to be mixing up the colours. I'm literally just going to um, stick with the colours and make sure that they're all quite like, because it's quite like a nice monochrome type. Yeah, I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to blow up all these blooms and I want it to be like a big corner setup, so lots of volume at the top and then like trickling down at the bottom. Um, loads of white five inch balloons and just make it look really classy and um, I am going to be adding a lot of foliage in there as well so that will look really nice when that's all done so I am just going to I've got literally so many balloons <laughs> I section all my balloons off for all the different events and I've got literally an array of, I can't even I can't even look at it right because <laughs> it's giving me anxiety and over here um, but yeah, I will just get on with this and then try and get the cut out of the van on my own because um, George's not here. And yeah, it's 11 o'clock so I've got to leave here at uh, about quarter past one so I better get a move on. <laughs>
I have blown up as many balloons as I think will fit into my van as per usual and now I'm just going to make clusters so I'm going to use three pairs to make one cluster and then add some clusters together so I'm going to make sure that they're all the same colour so I'm not mixing up the colours so white will go with white, black will go with black and I'm also not mixing up the sizes so I'm keeping all of my 11 inches together all of my 16 inches together and all of my 5 um, inches together as well I don't want to mix them this time because again I've got like a vision in my head and I know the kind of style that I want to make so I want it all to be very neat and tidy and it will still look organic but oh. I'm just gonna not mix the sizes up, so I'm just gonna quickly cluster all these up. I'm gonna move my camera out of the way because as I just walked in, what did Miss Bloody Clumsy do? Knocked my camera over again, and if the camera smashed, I would have legit died. So I'm moving the camera out of the way. <laughs> Right, so now all of those are clustered into clusters of six. I haven't yet made like bigger clusters out of them because um, I just fancy blowing some more up. I think I can fit a few more in the van um, and I just want to make this like, I've got an idea in my head of the light up numbers like here at the front and it's going to be in like a corner setting so then it's going to kind of like use as a backdrop the balloons are so i want it to kind of like trickle like this i hope that makes sense but like around it and like through it and um, so i'm gonna try and blow up some more and then i'll make them into bigger clusters i've just emptied the van i can't even tell you what was in that van i must have had about 50 different setups in there which <laughs> i've had different coloured flowers in there, I've got frames in there, I've got god knows what else in there so I've even got a bing teddy in the front so I've had to get rid of that because that just does not look professional. <laughs> Fred's been in my van so everything's just like everywhere and trashed whatever he can get his hands on. Um, so I am just going to blow some more black up because I want it to be mainly black with hints of white right now i'm not even joking i don't know if this is a sign of something you know what you what i'm like with stuff like this so i've been every time that i've sat down literally within like 10 seconds of me sitting down in this space i've got the door open there for to get a bit of light in and every single time i look outside a white feather falls and i just don't think that that's a coincidence there's literally one five feathers on the floor pure white just fallen on the floor so i'm gonna take that as a sign that it's all gonna be all right <laughs> it's all gonna be okay no matter how many lockdowns we go in or restrictions or anything like that everything's gonna be fine so i'm gonna i've literally got an hour and i'm just sat here talking <laughs> so i've got so i don't i've never used this brand before Decotex um but I quite like them I think they're quite good um, I've heard that they're good outside as well this one isn't outside it's in it's like an indoor setting so um, I can't really put them to the test that well but if you guys want me to do a video on like testing balloons outdoors so I can show you kind of what happens um, so for example I had a client ask if I could do an outdoor setup on the Friday even though their party wasn't until Sunday and it's hard to kind of explain what the sun and UV rays actually do to balloons so if you want like a little video on outdoor installations and the reasoning behind them then I'm more than happy to do that 
So I'm not going to blow up all these balloons because then I think I will struggle putting them in the van. So I'm just going to blow up a few more, about 25, 24 more. <laughs> So how, how have you guys coped with the new announcement? Are you having to postpone bookings? How are you kind of working it? I've basically said to, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I've basically said to all my clients that, you know, if it has, if it has had to move, um, then that's absolutely fine. Or you can take like a credit booking. So for when all this is over, um, I can literally just pre-book that date for you because it's horrible isn't it i've had a lot of like first birthdays which obviously they're, they're never gonna have the first birthdays back so that's sad um but thank god weddings of 30 people can still go ahead um there's always a silver lining so <laughs> okay. i wish i brought more 16 inch black balloons i just much prefer working with bigger balloons um, I think it just gives so much more depth but I think something that's going to really set this one off is the green foliage that I'm going to put in it I think that will look so nice. I said I think that will look so classy I love a bit of foliage oh I'm literally overflowing with balloons in this room. I wish you could see. Oh, that's just reminded me, right? So, if we do go onto like, if Birmingham does go like on a mini lockdown, I was thinking about doing um, more tutorial type things for you guys. To try. Sorry, I just don't even think about the pump when I'm talking. For you guys to try whilst being in lockdown, because then it, it's a perfect time to practice. So, if you want me to do that, then let me know. And I'm also going to be doing a huge declutter of this room because basically I store all my balloons. I do need a better way, but until we've sorted out this room, I'm just not going to change the way that I've done it. Because um, it all needs like, so behind this curtain, it's just like plasterboards from where we got it insulated. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's all going to be kind of sorted out and I want shelves with like nice rustic jars to store all, oh, <laughs> to store all my balloons and then um yeah all my I need to sort out how to store out how to store all my foliage and flowers because at the moment they're in boxes standing up because I don't want them to be flat and to be crushed I need like big florist um you know buckets um but yeah I think I'll do a big declutter so if you want that one as well, comment down below some tips because that's what I need on all of our beds. I'm also looking at doing more mini tutorials on my Instagram. Um, they won't be as in depth as the as the ones that I do on here, but I think they'll be really good. Like little tips and advice or like little how-tos um, because then it's like if you're like in a rush and you just need like a quick demonstration or if you kind of know what you're doing so you don't want to watch a full tutorial then I think that that could be really helpful so I think I'm going to try that. I'm also so bloody proud of myself because I figured out how to put photos on the video <laughs> I was really struggling so um before like before my edit editing is bloody terrible it's still not great now but it's made a vast improvement from when I started I mean when I started I was using my phone I weren't even using my camera which just why why did I not think oh yeah I've got a camera I use it I just don't know <laughs> um but I think my filming my camera angles, you know, they could be better, but I'm still learning, but my editing is getting much better. <laughs> I've never been good at ice ever. I used to just use that lesson at school as like a DOS lesson. <laughs> I don't know if, if I'm the only one, but 
RT just wasn't my thing. Did anybody else have to make like websites? <laughs> laugh now because mine was a fashion website and now if any of you know me I am just the most least fashionable person I ain't got a bloody clue what is like trend like is it trendy <laughs> trendy <laughs> do people still say trendy <laughs> I mean I love clothes but I don't like love them like I'm not like a fashion kind of I'm a very basic plain Jane just give me a nice like, pair of jeans or joggers and like a classic top in nude palettes then there you go that is me done but i wore sandals yesterday on the way to my mum i walked about a 45 minute walk from mine so me and my sister walked there and back and i stupidly wore sandals and blisters on my feet now is ridiculous Absolute ridiculous. So I've got trainers on today. Mm -hmm. I usually do my steps there. So for you who don't like feet, sorry in advance, but I just love being barefoot. <laughs> Fun fact about me. All those with you who like feet. <laughs> I don't know how I got on the subject of feet, but there you go. There's just me waffling on again. I should not have wore a black top, a black top, a white top with black balloons because sometimes, especially with like Qualitex dark colours, the dye transfers. <laughs> right, I'll stop rambling now and just get on the bloody knees up. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. Even though I've only got three more to go. <laughs> I'm going to go back to clustering them all up into clusters of six. Oh my God. Right, I'm just going to go and quickly do that because you've seen it all before. Right, so now that all that is blown up, I am going to use... Um, two 60 cues to I'm gonna like tie them together maybe about three or four at a time and or two or two and three depending on how big the clusters are gonna be and then I'm just gonna tie them together and um, I just find this easier than doing it at the venue just so it's all as much as I can is done so I am gonna do that and then transport them onto the van so let me just try and stick you down somewhere look look at all these balloons the lighting is terrible but have a look at them. I've never done like a monochrome setup before, so I'm really looking forward to doing it. I think it'll look really classy once I put like all the greenery and like make it really full and like in depth, if you know what I mean. So let me just shove you down. So I've already tied these together, as you can see. So little disclaimer for those thinking, why is she using that colour 260Q? Um, it's basically because I ordered white 260Qs and black 260Qs and do you think they came in my order? No, so I'm really cross about that but I've got these instead. So I'm just going to make sure all the air's out of it, tie it and connect it into one balloon. Sorry about this angle again guys but it's the best way to show you the actual, you know, so it goes like this. And then again, I'm taking just the same colours. I'm not taking um, like blacks with whites. It's all just going to be very much the same. So I'm going to have white on white. And I usually do about three of these. So let's just get these together. So I'm just going to do like a few twists and turns onto these to make sure they're all nicely um, connected and maybe one more 
anywhere. It doesn't have to be like straight on top of each other. It can be like to the side if you want like a wider kind of cluster. Like you can shape them however you however you want. Then I tie the end of that 260Q just to really secure it. So I'm just tying that together. And then I've got my first big cluster like this. So I'm going to leave that to... Do you know what I'm going to do actually? This angle's really annoying me. The fact that you literally... I'm just talking. You just see this little bit of my face. Can you see what I mean about the actual state of this room? I cannot cope. So I've got my duvets here. So let me just extend you somehow. Right, bear with me guys. Out of 10, what would you rate my camera skills? <laughs> Out of 10, I wanna know, be honest. Let me know. <laughs> I would say, I'd give myself a solid, see what I mean, I'm terrible. I'd give myself a solid seven out of ten. That's what I think. Solid seven. Oh my god, what have I done here? Can't even work a bloody tripod. Right, there we go. Done. So, I've got my... Oh my god, I nearly pulled over the tripod. Would have died. So, I've got my duvet cover. And this basically just keeps them so protected. Um, oh, got a couple from the last one that I didn't use. Shove them over there. Shove that over there. Oh, more. What a bloody waste. Didn't realise I had any of them. So, I'm just going to shove them straight in like this. It's easier to transport them so you're not going back and forth to your van all the time. Um, people do use like wheelie bin bags as well, but I just think number one, these are better for the environment. <laughs> number two, they're just more convenient for me because you can do them up properly. And sometimes those bags rip when you put them in the van or it just becomes a nightmare. So I just prefer doing it this way. So I'm just going to continue with this and then yeah, I'll load the van. Guys, you wanted to have just seen. <laughs> I've my van is full to the brim, like the actual brim. Nothing else can fit in there. So all of my flowers are gonna have to go in the front with me if I can kind of squeeze them in. But I thought I'd show you the update. So remember how before in a I can't remember what video it was, but I was saying about like all the disgusting rubbish in, in the back garden. Well, it's finally gone. <laughs> so all this is going to be covered. This is just our shed where I store all my um, frames. It's all insulated, electric and all stuff like that. So um, the inside does not look like the outside. <laughs> so this is all getting covered with bamboo. This is all getting covered and slabbed with a lovely like, maybe a fire pit or something and like a sofa. The pond is getting covered up because the dog's nightmare in it. And then um, all these like bushes and stuff have just been ripped out as well. So we're having like bamboo all across the garage so you can't see the garage. Um, and then I want all that corn a bit raised so I can have like a kind of like a Habana type thing, maybe a bar or something up there. Um, and then of course, oh, sorry. <laughs> and then of course the this room will all get renovated as well. So that's all exciting videos that can happen um, like next year maybe. So yeah, now I'm just going to sort out all of my faux flowers. I'm going to take mainly like foliage, lots of greenery and then um, maybe bits of white as well. So I'm going to sort that out because I've got to go give Benji some cuddles and love just before I go because he's going to be on his own for a couple of hours. So yeah, I'll see you at the vineyard. <laughs>
My van battery actually died on the way to the venue, which was not great. <laughs> but um, when I got there, I intended to film the whole thing, but um, a situation happened that wasn't in my kind of setup, but it was in the setting. So I couldn't um, film because it was just being in, a bit interrupted by no fault of anybody else's, but it was a bit awkward to film at this time because Birmingham had just been announced that we we're going back into lockdown so it just wasn't a good appropriate time to film so i didn't do that and I left it there so i will leave some videos and things like that at the end of this video just so you can see the finished product but i hope that you like this video and thank you so much for watching